Hey everybody, Brent here with Autosport Labs, and with this video, I'm going to show you how to look at tire temperature data with TireX and the Podium app. So I have the Podium app running right now, and this is the home screen. We have some tire temperature data we can look at from Auto Club Speedway. And this was recently recorded by HQ Autosport. So Robin and Retta, thank you for the data. So HQ Autosport, we have Auto Club Speedway and we select Kogan RCP. And we have a list of laps here on the right side. So we're gonna do this from scratch. I'm going to add a new dashboard and select one of our basic screens. So we have a track map here. I'm going to just randomly select a lap. So here we have our speed chart. Unlock it. Uh, we have our speed over distance track map and a scatter plot for the traction circle. So we're going to turn this scatter plot into an overview gauge. So we go to gauge type and select overview, go to settings, and we will configure it for the tire X sensor. So we're going to set the tire zones to four for the left front. Let's turn off brake temperature and tire pressure since we don't have that in this demo. Actually, the tire pressure might be present in the data, but we're just going to gloss over that for now. So I'm just running through the four corners, right rear. Now the tire X is shipped default with four, four tire zones, which is the most popular configuration. It has enough resolution for useful data, but not so many channels that it kind of overwhelms. So I'm going to go and turn off all of the other gauges for the overview. We don't have heart rate, I guess we need to be kind of cool to set up. So now as I cursor over the chart, you will see the data updating live on the car's temperature. So I can grab the, the bar here and make the top bar, the top section larger so you can see it bit more detail. This looks like a lap that wasn't super hot, but let me see. Let me see another lap. Yeah, actually, I forgot. So for the settings, we can get a better gradient of the... Actually, we don't. Never mind. I was thinking of a different gauge. So we have the, the temperature ranging from about 80 C in this corner, and we can zoom in to the track map on the right side. And go ahead and lock this so we can get a better view. Then you have two cars side by side. comparison. Now what we can also do is create some additional heat charts. We can unlock the dashboard and add, add a splitter and then add a new gauge called a heat chart. And for this first heat chart we'll do left front, so we select one, two, three, four zones. So there's our left front zone. And then we can add another gauge to this panel and we'll select a heat chart for right front, two, three, and four. So now we have right front, and then we 
can split the panel one more time and add the left rear and right rear here heat chart. So left rear, one, two, three, and four. And we can add one more by pressing this plus button. Select the heat chart, and we can select right rear, one, two, three, and four. And now we can lock the dashboard and then take a look at the data. So here we have four channels of heat chart data. We can play with the colors, the, the gradients on the on these channels. We can set the the range from fifteen to eighty five. And we can repeat that for each of the channels. I'll go ahead and speed up the video so we can skip over that part. Okay, so we have that updating complete. And now you can see a better spread of color for the different regions of the tire and parts of the track. Now, um, you can change the default. What you would want to do is go into your race capture Canva settings and update the min-max values for each of those Canvas channels so the next time you don't have to make these changes. And that will show up in the source of the data, which the Podium app will look at and honor by default. And of course, just like you saw, you can go in and override those min-max values if needed. All right, so here we are. What do we have on this part? So going forward, let's look at the data now. So we have a long sweeping turn and we have the tire heating up on the right front and less so on the right rear. That makes sense. And then here is the right front again in a, in a big left hand turn, sharp left hand turn. Notice how fast the, the tires cool off. This is very typical for tire temperature in a dynamic, when you're viewing it dynamically like this. And that is why measuring the tire temperature in the pits after the cars come in is not the best way to gauge the overall performance and, and characterization of the tires while it's on track. That's why it's tire temperature monitoring is so vital. Now one note about this interface, you'll see that the the min-max values are not editable like you saw in the heat chart in the overview gauge. This is something we'll be adding later on. But if the source data has uh, the min-max values already set, then you will see that gradient uh, replicated. So we can go and deselect this lap and select two other laps. And once you select two laps, then you can compare even more data side by side. And of course you can make you can make the views larger as needed. So you can really dig into the data. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.